Uh, bladder cancer is ranked the ninth most uh, malignancy worldwide and sixth most malignancy in the United States. And in Saudi Arabia, the eighth, uh, eighth most malignancy in men accounts for 3.9% uh, uh, of men uh, cancer cases in 2016. Your cell carcinoma or transitional carcinoma is the predominant storage subtype of bladder cancer in Europe and USA. It's less common in uh, outside Europe and USA. Uh, UCL carcinoma can also arise in the renal bulkheads, in the ureters, in the urethra. Uh, about 5% of the patients uh, present with metastatic disease at their uh, first, first presentation, and additionally, about 50% of the patients relapse after uh, cystectomy. Uh, the ministry of treatment is, uh, is the standard uh, care of treatment, and now is the uh, systemic chemotherapy. Uh, it had initial uh, good response, uh, and actually the initial response is high. However, the median survival with multi-agent chemotherapy is still limited and, uh, limited and doesn't exceed 15 months. Uh, in this article, there is comparison between two uh, cisplatin containing protocols, uh, which are the standard protocols in uh, treatment of metastatic ulcerative carcinoma, gemcitabine and cisplatin. Uh, versus uh, MVAC. The, uh, as we see here, the uh, median uh, overall survival uh, not less than uh, 15 months, not more than 15 months, sorry. And the uh, for the profile uh, was in favor of the gemcitabine uh, cisplatin uh, arm. In patients not relating cisplatin, carbatin replacing cisplatin in these uh, two protocols. Uh, with the uh, trans, however, the median survival and the progression free survival are uh, less than uh, cisplatin containing protocols. With the introduction of immune checkpoint point inhibitors, we have two uh, approved immune checkpoint inhibitors in the first line of metastatic urocerial carcinoma, uh, atezolizumab and bimbrolizumab. Uh, both of them uh, then show uh, a bigger overall survival. Uh, uh, different than the standard chemotherapy. However, they are uh, for patients not eligible for uh, chemotherapy uh, or patients uh, not eligible for cisplatin but have high BDL uh, status, BDL1 status, or patients not eligible for any uh, platinum containing chemotherapy uh, without, regardless of the BDL uh, exhibition. Uh, Imagine bound inhibitors also uh, showed some activity in the second line uh, setting, and we have five proof. Uh, Agents, Pembro, Atizo, uh, Nevo, and Durvalumab, and Abilumab. Uh, the uh, uh, and tumor activity is uh, good in these uh, situations, but a minority of patients obtain a durable clinical benefit. And after first line chemotherapy, only 25 to 50% of the patients received second line treatment. Uh, this diagram shows the uh, recent approved medications for. Uh, in advance with urocerial carcinoma between 2016 and 2019. Most of them were uh, immunotherapy. So we have uh, some facts about metastatic uh, uh, urocerial carcinoma with unsatisfactory response to first line chemotherapy, uh, mostly non durable response to second line treatment, and sometimes limited access to second line treatment of patients who respond to first line chemotherapy. So the uh, main uh, solution for the situation is to improve the result of the first line treatment. We have uh, in this era of immune checkpoint inhibitor, we have either to give uh, immune checkpoint inhibitor single agent or combination together, or chemotherapy concurrent with immune checkpoint inhibitor, or chemotherapy followed by immune checkpoint inhibitor as uh, maintenance. Applying these ideas, there are uh, six important uh, perspective uh, randomized trials uh, investigating different uh, immunotherapy uh, in different uh, scenarios as we mentioned in the previous slide there is here uh, single agent immunotherapy in some uh, slide in some trials and the combination of skin therapy in some trials and uh, and immunotherapy combination uh, is like a checkmate and uh, in uh, uh, the new trial and uh, this uh, different uh, study uh, which examines the uh, use of maintenance uh, after baseline 
standard tube therapy. Uh, this study, the avilumab maintenance therapy for advanced or metastatic carcinoma, which was presented firstly in uh, last uh, ASCO, uh, and uh, its update was presented in this ISMO um, around two weeks back, and the full article was published in New England Journal of Medicine at the same time. The rationale of the study is that, uh, as we all know, your carcinoma uh, has a high uh, tumor mutation burden from this famous uh, figure. Uh, it shows that bladder cancer is the one of the, the highest uh, mutational burden. Also, uh, chemotherapy was uh, found to have immune uh, priming effect and depletes immune suppressive cells. So, giving, ment giving maintenance uh, immune therapy after uh, first line chemotherapy may enhance anti tumor activity while also avoiding the potential interaction, and, uh, which include cross resistant and cumulative TST with the, use, the with current use of chemotherapy. Also, the idea of uh, maintenance therapy was successful in some tumors, like in lung cancer and ovarian cancer. The study uh, protocol was for patients who received first-line chemotherapy standard chemo, uh, cisplatin uh, plus gemcitabine or carplatin plus gemcitabine, uh, four to six cycles. Patient, of course, of unresectable or, or metastatic. Uh, uh, bladder cancer, uh, ureteral carcinoma, uh, patient who uh, attain at least stable disease, are randomized to uh, uh, one to one, either to best support care only in one arm, or uh, adding a uh, to boost support care. Avilumab was given as 10 milligram per kg every two weeks. Uh, the number of cases was, uh, was 700 patients. Primary endpoint was overall survival, and Analysis, uh, analysis of the overall survival uh, in relation to the BDL status, BDL one status. Second in the weight was progression survival, response rate, safety, and tolerability, and patient reported outcomes. Patient characteristics were, were uh, uh, equally distributed between uh, both uh, arms of the trial. The site of metastasis, visceral versus non visceral metastasis. The uh, BDL uh, one status, uh, first line chemotherapy, either this is platinum or platinum containing. Is the response to uh, first line chemotherapy also, uh, number of complete and partial responders were equally distributed, uh, and also the number of stable uh, Cs. At uh, data uh, cutoff in uh, October 2019, there was a total of uh, uh, about a quarter of the patients of melanoma groups are uh, still in active uh, treatment, while only uh, less than 8% of the patients on both support care are still uh, on the uh, both support care only. Uh, there was, uh, of course, uh, more uh, objective response on the uh, avilumab group in, uh, in terms of complete responders in uh, some patients and partial responders, stable disease. For the survival outcome, which is the primary endpoint, for the IKT population, there was a significant difference in the uh, overall survival in, in, in favor of the Avilumab group. It was 21.4 months versus 14.3 months for the, uh, the control group. Also, the median duration survival was in favor of the Avilumab group, 3.7 months uh, of, uh, versus uh, two months. Was uh, hazard ratio 6, uh, 0.62, where hazard ratio was 6, uh, 0.69 in the overall survival. For the subgroup analysis, this overall survival benefit was observed in, the, uh, in all the subgroups, including the uh, uh, respective of the type of chemotherapy given, respective of the initial response to uh, chemotherapy, site of visceral metastasis, uh, middle status. However, the BDL status of both patients showed better response than the uh, BDL negative. For the, uh, according to the BDL status, uh, as you mentioned, the BDL positive cases showed the overall and duration phase survival benefit better than the uh, uh, BDL negative uh, patients. For the uh, subsequent and cancer therapy, uh, uh, although the, the, the design of the group doesn't contain a crossover, but after a progression of the patient with post-supportive care, uh, 
about 53% uh, of the patients received uh, BDL1 uh, or BD1 inhibitors. For uh, 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 toxicity, toxicity was uh, uh, a Vilmar group also had uh, higher toxicity. However, it was uh, not toxicity more than uh, the toxicity. Um, the toxicity was in terms of uh, urinary tract infection, more in the Avilumab group. Uh, otherwise, the, uh, no, no more great, uh, higher grade to three toxicity. Uh, the immune related uh, adverse event, which is expected to be high in Avilumab group, uh, it was in terms of hypothyroidism and only slight uh, grade three uh, cases, no grade four, uh, five uh, immune related actions, and about 11.9% of the Avilumab. Uh, Cases discontinued due to adverse events. Uh, is in this ISMO, uh, less than two weeks back, the, the, all the group reported the uh, patient reported outcome for the uh, uh, this study, and they mentioned that there is uh, the uh, patient reported outcome. They used two mixed models, uh, uh, and the reported as similar for the Avilumab plus uh, dose supportive care versus the most support peer only. And the, uh, the uh, Avilumab doesn't have any detrimental effect on the clinical relevant uh, patient related outcome. So back to our uh, figure to the, this uh, six uh, studies, what we have uh, else, we have the result of another uh, three studies. Uh, Let's start with uh, Daniel and Keynote 361. Uh, uh, Keynote 361 was for uh, uh, Bimbrozumab, and Daniel was for uh, uh, Durvalumab. Uh, uh, both doesn't meet their uh, primary endpoints. Uh, Mvigor uh, 1C0 was for Tizolizumab in combination with chemotherapy, and it showed uh, regression phase of our benefit for. Uh, at the map. However, the, uh, re the result for overall survival is still uh, immature. So, we, as a summary of these uh, trials, we have in red they have this uh, trial which doesn't meet their brand points, and the trials in green still we have we are waiting for the results. No result from the Nile or Checkmate uh, 901. And we have uh, immature results for over survival for the MVG 130, and the one who showed, which showed the, uh, the interesting result is the uh, Javelin uh, Bladder 100, which showed uh, both overall and initial free survival benefits. The uh, idea of switch maintenance was examined in previous studies in uh, Lucera carcinoma, uh, and different agents were used, uh, either sotent, uh, lapatinib, benfulanine, however, there is no difference, uh, there is no benefit from adding uh, maintenance with these agents. One uh, immune service, Bimbrozumab, which was uh, used in uh, uh, another trial, uh, this small phase two trial you, uh, was studied 100 patients, uh, Bimbro 55 patients, and placebo uh, for 53 patients. It showed uh, good progression phase survival benefit for Bimbro, however, the uh, overall survival benefit was uh, not there. Based on these results, um, uh, shortly after the uh, presentation of the article in the in last uh, ASPO, uh, there was the approval for Avilumab as a maintenance for cystic uh, carcinoma after first line in first of July, and there was update for the NCCN and uh, ISMO in uh, 16 of July for using uh, Avilumab maintenance as uh, after first line chemotherapy. Uh, first line. Uh, platinum containing chemotherapy uh, in uh, metastatic uterine carcinoma. Uh, this slide, I actually found it after preparing the, the, the lecture. Uh, it was presented in uh, ASCO with uh, uh, Dr. Klimak uh, as a comment on uh, a presentation of Javelin uh, 100 bladder uh, study. And uh, it's uh, trying to solve the, the, uh, the question, uh, what is better for the patient, either to start with uh, first line blood and chemotherapy and waiting till uh, progression to give second line treatment, or uh, giving the chemotherapy then start with maintenance, 
and or giving uh, first line immune sheet joint inhibitor and waiting for, for progression to start for the second line treatment. Uh, from the analysis of different trials, the, there is the estimate over, over, over survival was in favor of the uh, maintenance uh, protocol with uh, 25 months uh, overall survival, uh, more than the other uh, options. So take home messages. A front treatment of metastatic ulcer carcinoma is changing and promising, uh, and the results are coming out. However, uh, we are still expecting more results. Uh, Javelin 100 brother is the first trial to show also a benefit for ICI and first line setting for treatment of advanced ulcer carcinoma. Uh, safety profile was generally uh, tolerable and consistent with the previous aglomab monotherapy. Uh, first line maintenance aglomab is a new standard of care in patients with advanced ulcer carcinoma whose disease had not progressed with platinum-based chemotherapy. Uh, there are two, two negative trials, Danube and the Keynotes, uh, and we are waiting for the result of Nile and Checkmate uh, studies uh, and the overall survival uh, final analysis for the NVIVOR 1-3 Thank you.